Um, I will explain what happened between the times of 12.37 on the 8th of August to, to, to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Now there are two issues here to deal with access and privileges. Now in standard operating procedure in IT, when you have a database, you have the super administrator. In this case, they were using Microsoft SQL Server. Once the super administrator is created on first instance, this super user can then now create other roles within the database. All right? Now, Mr. Chris Musando was the super administrator in this case. With his credentials, he was able to give different people the same credentials or lower credentials. But as is highlighted in this document, you'll find that such users did not exist. Only one super user existed in this core server. On the second issue, privileges. Now, you will note, once you get a copy of this document, on page four, Based on the type of access you have as a user, you can carry out certain functions, right? These functions allow you to install algorithms, allows you to install stored procedures. It also allows you to remove logging. One good thing about the SQL environment and the VM, the virtual machine used, is that there are always master logs that you cannot delete, all right? So on page four, you will see about six functions which were mentioned earlier that were picked. These functions, highlighted one by one, deal with installing stored procedures, changing of date time, recursive triggers, and turning the round, rounding off of numbers, because an election you cannot have half a vote. Now, the key thing to note in this document, on page two, is if you're a super user in such a system, when you sign in, you have to sign in using a security certificate. You will note that the certificate used was unsigned. For many of you who have Google, if you look at some of the information on that, an unsigned certificate is generally an indication of an attack, plain and simple. Last but not least, you will find on page 52 that two things happened. One, a user, SA, that is super administrator in MSSQL, SA logged in. Two, the user, Chebukati, logged in. Three, the user at the bottom of page 52, Msando, also logged in. Now, depending on the privilege, if you have that access, depending on the privilege assigned to you by the super administrator, it allows you to generate certain procedures, turn off certain statistics, which explains as to why the so-called stored procedures, the so-called functions, the so-called triggers which are highlighted here took effect at specific times. The full document has the master log date time up to the second. So you can be able to track the functional, you can be able to track the functions and the activities that happened from 1237.
Thank you very much. Where did you get the information from? 